Hello guys, welcome to Make Out Smashers and also welcome to our in-depth exploration of perception in human resource development and organization behavior. In this video, we will uncover how our perceptions shape the workplace interaction and decision making. We will discuss the nature and importance of perception and the factors that influence it and the common perceptual errors like stereotyping and the halo effect okay we will also delve into some perceptual selectivity attribution theory and the critical link between the perception and decision making so join us to gain the valuable insights into creating a more effective and harmonious workplace so let's get started so at first perception perception in context of human resource development and organizational behavior refers to the process by which individuals interpret and organize the sensory information to produce a meaningful experience in the world. It is in the lens through which we can view and interpret our surroundings and experiences. Perception is inherently subjective and complex, influenced by a variety of factors including an individual's past experiences, cultural background, emotions and expectation. So understanding the perception is crucial as it significantly impacts the workplace behavior, interaction and overall organizational effectiveness. So now it is time to discuss about the nature of perception involves. It involves the several stages. Initially, it begins with our perception stimuli through sensory organs. The sensory input is, the, is then organized and interpreted by the brain to form a coherent picture of the environment. The interpretation phase is particularly critical as it influenced by the perceivers background beliefs and the current emotional state okay so the importance of perception in the workplace cannot be overstated it affects how employees view their jobs their colleagues and uh, their overall work environment for instance a manager's perception of an employee's performance performance can influence their decisions regarding the promotions rewards and career development which in turn can affect the employee's motivation and job satisfaction so several factors influence perception, shaping how individuals interpret the information and experiences. This include the characteristics of the perceivers such as attitudes, motives, inter interest, experiences and expectations. For example, a person's attitude towards their job can color their perception of workplace events and interactions. Characteristic of the target being observed such as its novelty motion, sound, size, background, proximity, and similarity also play a significant role. Additionally, the context of the situation including the time, the work setting, and the social setting can profoundly affect the perception. A noisy, chaotic environment might lead to different perception than a quiet, organized one. Okay? So, the perceptual selectivity it refers to the process by which individuals filter out unnecessary information and focus on what is relevant. The selectivity is crucial in managing the vast amount of information we are exposed in daily. It can be guided by external factors like the intensity, the size and the contrast of the stimulus or the internal factors such as persons, motives, past experiences and the current psychological state. For example, an employee who is highly motivated by career advancement may pay more attention to feedback and development opportunities. Okay. So now the attribution theory. It is a framework used to understand how individuals explain the causes of behavior and events. It posits that people attribute behavior. People attribute behavior either to internal disposition such as the personality traits or the external situation such as environmental factors. For example, if an employee fails to meet a deadline, a manager might attribute this failure to the employee's lack of effort like internal or to the external factors such as inadequate or resources or time constraints. So misattributions can lead to misunderstanding and conflict in the workplace, highlighting the importance of the accurate perception and attribution. So, Stereotyping and the halo effect are the common perceptual errors that can significantly impact the organizational behavior. Stereotyping involves making the oversimplified generalization about a group or category of people, which can lead to bias, the decision making and discrimination. For example, assuming the older employees are less capable of learning new technologies, 
can lead to unfair th- unfair treatment the halo effect occurs when an individual's overall impression of a person influences their perceptions of that person's specific traits for instance if a manager perceives an employee as generally competent competent then might they might overlook the specific mistakes or shortcomings both stereotyping and the halo effect can lead to the significant biases and the inaccuracies in judgment so perceptual errors so perceptual errors such as selective perception projection and the contrast eff- effect occur when there is a deviation from the accurate perception selective perception happens when the individual selectively interpret what they say based on their interest background and experiences it often is ignoring the information that contradicts their beliefs projection involves attri- attributing the one's own characteristic to other people while the contrast effect occurs when we evaluate someone based on the comparisons with others rather than the objective standards so these errors can distort the reality and negatively impact the decision making and interpersonal relationship in an organization so the link between the perception and the decision making is intrinsic decisions are often based on how situation and people are perceived poor perception can lead to poor decision making resulting in ineffective problem solving mismanagement and interpersonal conflicts conversely a well developed perceptual framework can enhance the decision making leading to more accurate assessments and better organizational outcomes for example a manager who accurately perceives an employee's strengths and weaknesses can make the better decisions regarding the task assignments and the development opportunities ultimately the benefits benefiting both the employee and the organization so understanding these intricacies of perception helps the managers and employees to improve their interaction and decision making process fostering a more effective and harmo- harmonious workplace environment by being aware of how fact how that factors that influence the perception and the potential for perceptual errors individuals can develop the strategies to mitigate the biases and enhance their perceptual accuracy this in turn leads a more informed decision making the better interpersonal relationship and a more positive organization culture so thank you for joining us on the journey into the world of perception in human resource development and organizational behavior we hope you know we now understand uh, that how perception influences the workplace interactions and decision making so by recognizing the factors that shape the perception and common perceptual errors you can foster better relationship and more informed decisions remember enhancing the perceptual accuracy is the key to creating a positive and effective work environment so stay tuned for more insights and strategies in our upcoming videos until next time take care and keep learning okay okay thanks for watching